Okay, to our mixing bowl, we will add one cup of white sugar. We will add half a cup of all-purpose flour. We will add one third cup of Hershey's cocoa powder. We will add a quarter teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, not soda, powder. All right, give this a good mix with grandma's whisk. Now onto our wet ingredients. We have two eggs. A little awkward there trying to let you see. Drop in two eggs. Half a cup of veg oil to go in. Now, one teaspoon of vanilla. Nope, that's a little over. That's okay. And we mix. Still using grandma's whisk. Okay, so you can see we're all well incorporated. Well, it's all nice and tight. So now it says to use a 9x9 nine nine pan, but we're going to use this Lodge 10 inch skillet. Um, this just happens to be the uh, Smoky Mountains 2016 uh, commemorative uh, pan. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, 10 inch pans. So we're going to give it a little spray oil. It is not preheated. Now you don't have to do this, you can put in parchment paper and it'd be just fine too. Just pour it on in. Kind of awkward to do in front of the camera. See it smooth around really nice. Now you could add chopped walnuts to the top or sprinkles or whatever, chocolate chips. Whatever. We're keeping this OG. All right, y'all, the moment we've been waiting for. Sat in the oven, 25, 27 minutes until we were, we checked for uh, clean. Old toothpick test, stuck a butter knife in there, came out clean, good to go. Uh, let it cool. And, uh, I don't know, it's cooled about 20, 15 minutes. See how it's pulled away from the edges here? That's awesome. Okay, so... Without further ado, let's get us a good piece. Oh, that's a good brownie. It's still hot. That's why it's sticking to... Mm. Oh my goodness. Definitely needs to cool down a little bit more. First one always comes out rough. Okay, so let's try to pull this in here out. Yeah. There we go. All right, y'all. I'm telling you, mm. there's some really good brownies. 
Mm. It's gooey. Mm. Chocolatey. Mm. Tastes like the box mix, only better because we made it from scratch. And it's wide open. You can add whatever you want to it. Sprinkles, chocolate chips, uh, walnuts, you know, pecans, whatever. You can add whatever you want to it later on. But for the basic recipe, mm, a lot of stuff you already got in your, uh, in your pantry. Wow. Good Eats. Take a screenshot of that picture uh, of the recipe card. I'll put it down in the description. And remember, there's two rules of cooking. Did it taste good? Did you have fun? Rock on. You guys are awesome.